Welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. The Pharmacy Leaders Podcast is a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network with interviews and advice on building your professional network, brand, and a purposeful second income from students, residents, and innovative professionals. Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast. I wanted to talk a little bit about an event that Scott Jelson has. Uh, he's at Nova Southeastern in Florida, and uh, he kind of passed this along to me, and I want to just pass it along to you. Uh, I'll have it on my Facebook page. Uh, so your brand, your profession, uh, is going to be a webinar that's on February 26th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, on February 26th, we speak to Scott Chelson, PharmD, CPH, about the current state of pharmacy, where we're heading as the profession continues to evolve. Uh, join us for a deep dive into the branding of the profession, opportunities that exist, and those are being created daily, and what strengths and values the healthcare system will demand of pharmacists. Concept of thinking outside of the, he put books, I don't know if you meant box, but it might be books too, uh, is what Dr. Jelson refers to when discussing his views on the development of pharmacists. This is one event you don't want to miss. And there's kind of two things I wanted to talk about with this. Uh, he's got a YouTube video that I shared before, and uh, he had a seven-minute presentation. I think it was at AACP where he talked about branding and how uh, pharmacists uh, don't really, uh, if you want to call it musical chairs, are kind of being left out uh, in many cases uh, without this provider status. And when Ohio gave provider status to pharmacists, there was significant opposition from physicians. And I thought that was both telling and uh, when we were kind of looking at the comments, you could see that uh, physicians thought we were trying to take their jobs, where uh, actually it was quite the opposite, where we were trying to allow them to better do their jobs, spend time with their families, not have to do a lot of the things that they probably don't really want to do, uh, that we do, or that we have the expertise to do. So uh, that was a little bit surprising, but uh, as states start to enact provider status, I think eventually uh, it may happen at the federal level. But until then, what's going to happen is that uh, right now, because we don't have that provider status, you'll see the giants like, uh, I think CVS would be one good example, where they're still hiring, just not pharmacists, or they're, they're start hiring some pharmacists, but uh, you see that there's a tremendous need for nurse practitioners. So if provider status had passed, then they wouldn't need to have hired those nurse practitioners. Or, or if uh, we had some kind of prescribing authority, then they might not have hired those nurse practitioners. But they're still hiring. It's just the landscape is changing because of student loans, because of debt and all of this. Physicians are going into specialties. Uh, primary care, it just doesn't make enough money to pay off the loans that those physicians have. And so many are going away from primary care and some are leaving primary care because it's it's just very difficult to make a living to enjoy that living in that environment so uh, I encourage you to listen to him and see what he has to say uh, he's a good guy and uh, certainly uh, advocate and uh, champion for the profession uh, and he's a pretty good speaker uh, so I think you'll uh, enjoy what he has to say and I'll put the link uh, down in the show notes uh, so you can catch up with him Support for this episode comes from the audiobook Memorizing Pharmacology, a relaxed approach. With over 9,000 sales in the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia, it's the go-to resource to ease the pharmacology challenge. Available on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon.com. In print, ebook, and audiobook. Thank you for listening to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. Be sure to share the show with the hashtag #PharmacyLeaders. 